Welcome to the video how to use the ETI Validation Utility. This video will guide you through each of the steps of the ETI Validation Utility to ensure that the correct employment tax incentive values reflect on your payroll. It is advisable to back up before continuing with this option. So how do you access this utility? From the main menu, click on Utilities, select ETI, Select ETI Validation. Caution, if you have not made a backup, please do so now before continuing with this option. Once you select ETI Validation Utility, a message will appear. It is advisable to backup before continuing with this option. Please click OK and if you did not create a backup as yet, please do so before continuing. The ETI validation utility consists of three steps. Step 1, validate ETI setup and data. Step 2, extract data and amend. Step 3, import amended ETI file. Click on step 1, validate ETI setup and data. Please be patient and Excel workbook will generate displaying the validation errors. The company ETI setup and employee ETI data will be validated. Any errors and omissions will be identified and recorded on the Excel workbook per employee per month. Should you need assistance per step, click on Step 1, Help. There is also ETI calculation information buttons, setup guidelines and import guidelines available at the bottom of the screen. To start, click on Step 1, Validate ETI setup and data. The Excel workbook will open, indicating any validation errors per employee per month, indicated in column G, validation errors. Click on the Solution tab and follow the guidelines to amend any ETI setup errors or employee ETI, the reason for the validation error for the current tax year as well as the solution will be recorded on the solution sheet of this Excel workbook. The Excel workbook will consist of the Validation tab and the Solutions tab. So once identified on the Validation tab, the errors access the Solution tab. The Solution tab will have explanation of the error, where to get the detail of information, how to correct the current period and how to correct the history period. As explained, Step 1 will validate the ETI setup and the data. Should employee ETI history data be required to be amended, you may continue to Step 2. The Excel workbook can be saved and closed after the validation has been verified. There is also ETI guides available to assist you. ETI Calc information. This will explain how the calculation is applied in the payroll. Setup guidelines. How to set up ETI in your payroll company. Import guidelines. Guideline documents on the requirements for the ETI CSV file layout. The tool will automatically create the ETI CSV file in the layout to import into the system. Once the validation of the ETI setup and data was completed, you may continue to Step 2, Extract Data and Amend. All the employee ETI history data will be extracted for the current tax year. Detailed notes accompany this step. You may amend history data on the Excel sheet as per the validation report in Step 1, but this is optional. You may select to recalculate ETI sets, periods and incentive values. Please consult the notes for details pertaining the functionality of this Excel workbook. Let's focus on the different ETI export selections on Step 2. The ETI data will be extracted for the beginning of the tax year up until the current processing period. The following selections can be made. Select your range of employees. You can select all the employees, a specific range of employees, 
a department, a pipe point, a category, a Patterson manager, a RAC code. You can also select which employees you want to export. Active employees, terminated employees, all employees, current, new and terminated employees. We recommend that you select all employees as they can be ETI on terminated employees as well. You also have an option for sort sequence, sort according to name, employee code, department, pay point, category, REC code, Patterson, job title manager. Click on export. File successfully created employee record export. Select OK. An Excel workbook will open with the ETI validation process. To start with step 2, click on step 2. Extract data and amend. As explained, you have different export selections. The range of employees can be selected. Then there's also the type of employees that you want to export. Active employees, terminate employees, all employees, current and terminated employees. As explained, we advise all employees. You can select to sort as well. Once you made your selections, click on export. File successfully created. Click then on OK. The Excel workbook will open. This will take you to the ETI validation process step 2. We will be focusing on step 2 ETI validation process. If you have not made the backup, please do so before continuing with this option. Please note that it will remain your responsibility to ensure all the values are correct before you import them. There is a notes bar available should you need further assistance. Part of the ETI validation process step 2, there is option 1, manual history adjustments. Use this option to review and amend ETI history information that will influence the calculation of the ETI tax incentive. This is the employee ETI history data for the current tax year. You may amend the history data on the Excel sheet as per the validation report in Step 1. This data is used to recalculate the ETI sets, periods and incentive values in Option 2. For a detailed explanation of each field on this sheet, please consult the Import Guidelines found under the main menu Utilities ETI ETI Validation. Continuing on option 1 manual history adjustment, you can save the Excel workbook at any time. You can run recalculations of option 2 multiple times. When you are done, click on back to menu and select the next step. If you have made all the applicable amendments on this sheet, go back to the main menu and proceed with option 2. Run recalculation of ETI set period and tax incentives. This is just an example of the manual history adjustments. Click on manual history adjustments. The Excel workbook will open the ETI history data for the current tax year. You may amend the history data of this Excel sheet as per the validation report in step 1. This data is used to recalculate the ETI sets, periods and incentive values in option 2. For a detailed explanation for the field on the screen, you can consult the import guidelines. As explained, there will be indication of the period set, count, the ETI incentive value and this will be for the current tax year. Once you are satisfied with the information provided, you may select back to menu. Moving forward to option 2, run recalculation of ETI sets, periods and tax incentives. Before you run the recalculation, ensure all the manual history adjustments have been made. The history adjustments will influence the calculation of the sets, periods and tax incentive values. When you run the recalculation, for a few extra columns will be added to the sheet. If the company wants to claim a higher ETI value, adjust the value in the tax incentive to import column with the value that will be imported. Once you select option 2, run recalculation of ETI sets, period and tax incentive. 
there will be a message, would you like to proceed with the recalculation? Select OK or Cancel. An Excel workbook will generate displaying the recalculated information. This example will show you how to run the recalculation of ETI sets, periods and tax incentive. Click on to Run Recalculation of ETI sets, periods and tax incentive. The system will prompt you to confirm if you want to proceed with the recalculation. Click on OK. The Excel workbook will open and it will indicate the changes and recalculations in the green columns. It will also show if the line changed. In the change line, it will indicate, for example, as a yes. It will also indicate in red what changed. So in this example, we will see that the period set was 1, the count was 3. The system changed it to 1 and 0. The columns that can be imported then will be the set, the count, and the tax incentive to be imported. Once you are happy with the recalculation, you can save the import file and return to the, back to the menu. Once the recalculation of the ETI sets, periods and tax incentives were completed, you may proceed to option 3 to create the import file. When you select this option, you will have three import options. The first option will be to import all data except the incentive values. So this option will be used only if you wanted to import the sets and periods. So this option will create an import file with all the data, including the changes made to fields recalculated ETI sets and periods. Newly calculated incentive values will not be imported. The original incentive values will be kept. The second option is to import all the data. This option will create an import file with all the data, including changes made to the fields recalculated ETI sets and periods, as well as the incentive values per, as per the tax incentive to import column. The third option is to cancel. This will cancel the action and take you back to the main menu. This example will show you how to create the import file. Click on number 3, Create Import File. The system will prompt you with the one of the three options of the import file. Import all data except incentives. Import all data or cancel. Import all data except incentives will only include the sets and the periods. It will not include the recalculated incentive values. Thus, if you only want to update the periods and the sets, this is the option you will select. Import all data will update the sets, the periods and the recalculated incentive values. Cancel will return you back to the main menu. I will select import all data. Select the destination where the file must be stored. Click on OK. Select the destination file and save. The system will indicate the path where the file is saved. You can just click on OK and return back to the main menu. As explained earlier, the import options will prompt you to select the destination path to save the import file. Make sure that the file did save in this location. The default file name will be imp-eti.csv. Please do not open the saved file in Excel. It will change the formatting of the fields and you will not be able to import the file successfully. Now that the import file was created, you can select option 4, Import File. You will be prompted with a message that you may now close the Excel workbook. Access now the payroll company. If you have not made a backup, please make a backup before importing the file into the payroll. From the main menu, click on Utilities, select ETI, select ETI Validation. Follow the on-screen prompts to import the file created and save during option 3. This example will show you how to import the file into your payroll company. Access your payroll company, click on Utilities, ETI, ETI Validation. The system will appear with a message. It is advisable to backup before continuing with this option. If a backup was created, click on OK. On the ETI Validation, Step 3 will be to import the amended ETI file. Click on Step 3. The system will appear again with a message, it is advisable to backup before continuing with this option. If a backup was created, click on OK. 
you can browse to the destination folder where the import file was saved. The default name will be impeti.csv. You can click on import. The message will indicate if the import was complete and the number of records imported. You can just click on OK. If there were any outstanding information that needs to be corrected, a validation report will print. You will then return back to the main menu. Once you have completed step 1 to 3 on the ETI validation tool, you can run step 1 of the ETI validation to validate if the mentioned errors have been corrected. Some errors on the report can be valid. This can be ignored if the ETI setup is correct. Just some important information. So access the ETI validation options and run step 1 of the ETI validation process. Be on the lookout for validation errors, for example, incorrect set. It will be indicated as an example below. If the values that are imported are less than the values already declared on the EMP201 report, the administrator will need to restate the EMP201 values. Please note that this may result in penalties as the ETR was overclaimed. Please check and make the adjustments as soon as possible. Customers claiming ETI are encouraged to run the ETI validation utility every month as part of their monthly processing checklists. Closing off with a frequently asked question. I have submitted my major EMP501 reconciliation to SARS. When I run the tool, it changed my values from March to August 2021. What do I do? Should you have overclaimed your ETI? Please make the payment to SARS as soon as possible after you have revised your EMP201 and EMP501 declaration. A full resubmission might be required depending on the changes. Should you need assistance with the process, as mentioned above, please refer to the SARS Easy File Employer Guide available on the SARS website. Link provided below.